Hi everyone, I would like to share with you today six things that we all should know when we train our horses. First thing is, when we train our horses, we should aim to lowering the horse instinct. This area of lowering the horse instinct has so many things involved in it. One of them is the way the horses react to things they see, hear or physically feel, so is the need of protecting themselves against anything that's dangerous on them. So they might react by a fight or a flight, they might try to run, or the, mainly the spooky area of our horses or any reaction that comes from mainly the environment. So lowering the horse's instinct can be improving the horse confidence and also instinct has other areas such as head, how your horse reacts when he feels that another horse is going to leave him, he's going to stay on his own, his friend is going, you're riding your horse in the arena and one of the riders left you, you went for a hack and some horses passed him or you're riding and another horse is started running etc. So herd instinct. You took your horse in the trailer and after 15 minutes he's panicking inside the trailer. This is to do with home instinct, a food instinct. So lowering the horse instinct is something we all do and but not all of us know when we do it, how to do it, how to low it. Sometimes we increase it by mistake. So we should be aware that every single session, that so you ride your horse, you do groundwork with your horse, you prepare your horse for a competition, whatever you do, you're working on this area, which I call lowering the horse's instinct. That's one of the six that's very important whenever we train our horses. The next thing is improving the way your horse trusts you. So working on the trust. And nobody can improve the trust in a high level unless you're working on things that the horse is concerned about and changing those this thought that's inside your horse brain that's actually when I listen to my partner, when I listen to my leader, I'm fine. Nothing happened to me. He asked me to go inside the trailer and I did. He asked me to go under that particular obstacle. He asked me to go forward in an area I'm concerned about. I wasn't sure that everything is fine, but the rider said, my partner said, it's fine. He squeezed me on and I did, and actually nothing happened to me. So what I'm saying is, you're gonna have to find and push the boundaries tiny little bit, gradually, every time a little bit, but this is how you'll be working on improving the trust between you and your horse. You're gonna to have to find things that he's concerned about to improve this trust. The next area will be improving and increasing the respect. The way your horse respects your aids, the way your horse respects your reins, the way your horse respects the distance between you and him, the timing for between each time you ask how, how you can improve uh, the response to your aid. So the horse isn't scared of you when you ask him to do something, but he also isn't too lazy, laid back about listening to your aid. So he's saying, okay, in a minute, okay, I might go forward. Now you want such a relationship when the horse have more will. He's not scared. He's not going, oh my God, I have to go forward. But at the same time, he's actually listening. There is a respect. So every time, you ask your horse to go forward, stop, turn, uh, um, collect himself, uh, any kind of aid, you're working on improving the respect. This area number three. Fourth area we'll be talking about today is maintain what your horse already know. This is something that sometimes we forgot, that's very important. Whatever your horse does know and he knows how to do well, Keep maintaining it, otherwise this might be forgotten or might go lower in the way the horse performs that particular exercise, movement, uh, a place that he used to be scared of. You need to maintain everything you have done, you have to maintain it somehow and maintaining 
it's a different area, it's a different topic that we can talk about for a long time. But every time you train your horses, maintain what your horse already know and try to improve them a little bit. What your horse already know, try to improve it at the quality of it, get a little bit more steps of the movement. If he's maintaining an example, uh, the gait, so you taught your horse that he can, when you ask for trot, you reach the last time five laps of trot. This time, maybe do six or seven laps, etc. The next area we're talking about is teaching your horse something new. It doesn't have to be in a new exercise. It can be in a new exercise, but also teaching the same exercise in a new area, it's something new. Also, teaching or asking your horse to do the same exercise, the same movement in a different, from a different angle if you're on the ground or in a different uh, speed in a, or in a more collected way, anything like that, it counts as a new way of teaching your horse to do the same performance. And the last area is connection. I always talk about that, I'm passionate about connection. Moment of connection with all the training. If you have in every single session, or at least two times a week, a five minutes of connection, you are a star. So if you have even a moment, a one minute of connection with your horse, when you connected to your horse 100%, and your horse is listening to you 100%, you have reached the main thing about training horses. So in every single session, I suggest you and myself to work on those six areas. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.